In this video, we're given a position versus time graph for some oscillating object. I can see that at t equals zero, it starts at the origin. It goes down for a while, it slows down and returns back through the origin. It goes above the origin all the way to this maximum height of two centimeters and then back to the origin again by the time we get to t equals eight seconds. And we're asked two different questions here. I wanna get the average speed on the time interval zero to eight, and then I want the average velocity on the time interval zero to eight. And the difference between these two quantities is that for the average speed, you have to count up the total distance traveled by this object. In part B, the average velocity calculation, that only depends on the final and initial position. So if I'm thinking total distance here, I can see in the first two seconds, the object has traveled two centimeters in the downward direction. That's a value of negative two centimeters there by the time I get to T equals two. So it's traveled two centimeters of distance already, then by the time I get to four seconds, it's traveled two centimeters back to the origin. And then it moves two centimeters above the origin. And then it moves back down two centimeters until it lands at the origin again at t equals eight seconds. Well, that's a total distance covered of eight centimeters. So eight centimeters of distance divided by eight seconds to cover that much distance. And I get an average speed of one centimeter per second. Now, average velocity that keeps track of direction by considering the displacement instead of the distance. So my average velocity is going to be a delta x, or in this case, a delta y, divided by delta t, that's how long it took. And so if I look at my final y value, just to really highlight what's going on here, final y value minus initial y value over final time minus initial time. My final and initial y values are both zero. This object ends up exactly where it started, my delta t is eight seconds, so I end up with zero over eight, which is zero. So when an object ends up back where it started on some time interval, then its average velocity for that time interval is zero. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab. And best of luck on your math and physics journey.